Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 10 verses 7 to 13. Here's the word of God. Then Pharaoh's servants said to him, How long shall this man be a snare to us? Let the men go that they may serve the Lord their God. Do you not yet understand that Egypt is ruined? So Moses and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh, and he said to them, Go serve the Lord your God, but which ones are to go? Moses said, We will go with our young and our old, we will go with our sons and daughters, and with our flocks and herds, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. But he said to them, The Lord be with you, if ever I let you and your little ones go, look, you have some evil purpose in mind. No, go the men among you and serve the Lord, for that is what you are asking. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts so that they may come upon the land of Egypt and eat every plant in the land, all that the hail has left. So Moses stretched out his staff up over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. When it was morning, the east wind had brought the locusts. Exodus ten seven to 13 and here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. Pharaoh big bargains with Moses. When the warning for the locusts came, even Pharaoh's household convinced him. They have the sensibility to see the coming judgment as they've been suffering. But Pharaoh bargains with Moses that only the men should go and worship God. He didn't want the women and children to go with them out of Egypt. Here's my commentary. I have not encountered any other man in the Bible as hard-hearted and stubborn as this man. Of course, we know from the account that it was also God's doing that he was that stubborn. Even his servants were beginning to convince him of the further consequences of him not releasing them. Here we see that part of Pharaoh wants to relent, but with certain conditions. He wanted to leave the women and children as hostage in case there was something evil that was going to happen. What a fool. No matter how much signs and punishment he is receiving, he won't give up the Israelites. Reflection what drives Pharaoh to bargain who would go to worship their God? Well, we know that it is God that hardened his heart. But we also know that we know that Pharaoh is a narcissistic tyrant. And the narcissists are driven by their insecurity. They're driven by their phoniness, their, their fakeness. They have no truth in themselves. They do not know who they are, so they are always wanting to take control of everything. Um, even his people, even the Egyptians, are able to see some, uh, quite understand why he should let them go because Egypt is already ruined with all the plagues that they have been receiving from God. And yet, because God has made Pharaoh's heart hardened, he couldn't, he couldn't have sense, he couldn't uh, relent because he has to hold much of the control. So here we see our nature as human beings. We, we have a hard time also to let go of control. We like to know everything, we like to understand things, we like to... Uh, <clears throat> be able to understand things that are going on. But this is interesting because in, in God's economy, He doesn't tell us what His... He tells us His plan uh, little by little, and it is up to Him to give us... Uh, to, to give us a picture 
but T will only give us little bits and pieces, otherwise if we know everything, why do we need a God? So it's important for us to recognize that when we take so much control about something, that we are not uh, depending on God, that we are not believing Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and give you the Word of God. Uh, and if you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this. Just type on Google or YouTube search, Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.